Welcome back to Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. I'm Burning Dogface, and I can't believe my cloak lasted uh, until the next episode. <laughs> We're here uh, back on Delta Halo, where the Arbiter has seen uh, incontrovertible proof that the Brutes are systematically slaughtering the elites and that the Prophets really have turned against them. Meanwhile, the chief was learning. Uh, oh, no. oh, that was good. Man, the chair must have already been damaged. Meanwhile, the chief has learned that, uh... Well, an amber-clad wasn't on the station of uh, High Charity because of Commander Keys. It was because of the Flood, who now have access to the most densely populated area in the entire galaxy. So that's awesome. They will calm us with numbers. Oh, I killed the dude with that one. Missed. Why did that guy explode? Oh boy. Oh, wait, fuck, I needed that one. This always does seem to start the same way. Join the battle, Harvard. There you go. Just a moment. Okay, who wants some? Circle the pack. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. No. Ah. I don't even know what hit me there. I was aiming at the guy who was charging, but I got hit from behind. Okay, this is nuts. That's the wrong door. I do think they look better with the beards. I really wish I would stop doing that. Man! Okay. Sure. Thank you for standing right next to each other, you profound morons. I took this from your friend's dead hands. Deal with it. No! I almost got that guy. Wanted to take him with me. Oh. Your skills will be most useful. I am sure that is true. I am not sure any of us have a prayer. Hey, I'll you 
are still standing there. Why are you berserking already? No. Oh. Achieve an unlocked foe hammer! Oh, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Kill 5,000 enemies or players. That would be in uh, including the ones I slaughtered in Halo 1. Did you kill that guy who complimented me? Because if you did, it's going to go rough for you. No! You sit your ass down! This sermon isn't over yet. Or I'm going to teach you the ways of getting your ass kicked! It's something brutes should be very good at. If so tough, how come dead? I like that. Even the guys who barely speak English are getting in their uh, one-liners. The same number of shots, so I'll take this one, because it does more damage. Oh no, that was four in reserve. Fuck! Step aside, let the man go through. Oh. Hiding will not save you. You are an inspiration. Jesus, that guy almost pushed me off the edge. But thank you for calling me an inspiration. I didn't miss that. There you go. Wait a minute. Hey, hey you. I... Yes, I can. You take the rocket launcher and have infinite ammo with it. Well, that was a nice thought. Oh, he was behind me! No! Well, I'm back here. Can I give this to you? It's red! Maybe not. As opposed to the jackals, who are, of course, just a person for a story. Oh, well, now you've done it, haven't you? I didn't even... It's too bad. Oh, would you look at that? These ones haven't exploded yet. Okay, I guess we got them all. Excuse me. Now that's more like it! I know there's a guy up there. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Oh, I can't get up there. Amazing! Give me a second. Dudes. Dudes! Fucking swordsman. One track mine. When all you have is a sword, everything looks like a target. Doesn't quite work as well as the hammer metaphor, does it? But that's really more of a them thing. Oh, fuck! Guess who can't use vehicles? It's you guys! Oh, that was fucking stupid. I didn't even know you were there.
have to admit, that was the first time my thought is that a, uh... Oops. It's the first time I've thought is that a terminal and it turned out to be a person. Boy, that was fucking stupid of you. I dare you to lay your hand on this ghost. Blow your head. Oh, God! Now what you're gonna do, you fuck. Back away! Under the tree. There are more of these back here. It was further back than I remembered. If I remember correctly, uh... They added a flashlight to the Arbiter's armor in the next game, too. I wonder if that was just, you know, the Covenant are imitative, not innovative, so they don't, like... Once they have a technology, they don't figure out how to make it better. They just live that way. Like, they probably had the same plasma rifles for more than a thousand years. So maybe just even adding a fucking flashlight to his armor and making it more practical was the Arbiter's way of saying fuck you to the, uh, to the Prophets. That was satisfying. Ah! Well, I'm glad that came with me, but, uh, not glad to be here. I need a new gun. Oh, you broke it! I just wanted to see if the, the heads-up display on, on the actual screen there changed when I did that. It's gonna seem weird, but this one has ammo in it. Oh, boy. I was actually trying to hit that thing first, but then I hit the guy uh, a couple times and pushed him out of the way. No, you're not one of ours. Suck it down! Oof. Let's go with the other one. Even better, let's go with the one that isn't sparking even a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. It's got a few shots in it, and it's pointy. I mean, okay. Off you go. I like these trees that are falling over. They make nice natural overhangs. Oh. I killed him without the UI. That guy's dead. Oh, maybe not. That was a hell of a fucking throw. Oh yeah, and second thought, maybe I'll go forward after all. That's it. Run towards the vehicle. I mean, I say that, he absolutely would have flipped me if he'd gotten any closer than that. Actually, on second thought, oh, oh boy! I 
just killed the pilot. Oh boy, I just noticed that guy. You may kick my ass, but you'll never kick my freedom! I just wanted to make sure I was done saturation bombing that area because I need to search for terminals. It's my imperative. find the goods and services that were hidden for me. Oh damn, there's a cache back here. Hell yes. Oh hey, that's a shotgun! What the hell is marine stuff doing here? This one's been used. I don't see a dead guy. Oh yeah, that makes it clearer, doesn't it? Uh, excuse me? Yeah. And that wasn't as funny as I expected. I sure just punched him. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Oh. Oh, okay, he's berserking. Fuck that guy. Oh no! Very happy. Hey, your guy's dead. Right, that. Fuck. Okay, I can take that. I was reloaded before one of those guys hit the ground. That's pretty fucking good. Hell yeah! I'm starting to fear that you're not very smart. Dude. Mind your tongue, Oracle. Oh, I mean no offense. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your species. How long have these prophets been anointing Arbiters? Since the fall of Falchavami, the first disgraced Arbiter. Roughly 400 years ago. Incredible. And in all this time, it never occurred to you how convenient it was that your prophets were able to find a powerful, capable leader among your people, who happened to suddenly commit a terrible blasphemy every time the power structure of your covenants was threatened. I do not understand. Hmm, you do little to dissuade my fears. Then teach me. Looking back at the record of the Arbiters you discussed, was it not surprising to anyone that those chosen to become Arbiter were more than simple warriors? How so? Each of them had significant political influence among your people. In some cases, that influence was already being used to question the decisions of your hierarchs. In fact, that very questioning often gave rise to the charges of heresy that so neatly removed the challenger from the hierarch's concern. And once they were branded Arbiter, they promptly and quite cheerfully ran to meet their deaths. All our lives we look down at the path, put our feet where the prophets tell us. All our lives spent convincing ourselves of the truth of our covenant. Could all of it truly have been wasted? Let's hope not all of it, for we have a great deal of work to do. The Flood is still out there, so I require a cooperative reclaimer to enact proper containment procedures. But your Covenant keep trying to kill all the reclaimers I can find. All this bickering is quite a deadly waste of time. Right now, the most important question we can ask is this. Who could break this hold the Prophets have over you?
Hey guys, I didn't want to say anything during the terminal, but, uh, this guy right here, uh, I actually know him. In fact, we met him. He was the Arbiter in Halo Wars, Reaper Morami. In fact, this image here on his, uh, well, this is the art that comes with the Steam trading card, and you unlock that, and, uh, I'm pretty sure this image right here is the same image that Spark was projecting of him, just reversed left and right. So I guess it looked like that from his perspective. But, uh, I really, really like that rather than just showing a bunch of shots of an elite wearing Arbiter armor, it's actual, individual, recognizable Arbiters in that, uh, thing. And that's awesome. Neat. Well... That really, uh, paints a picture, doesn't it? I didn't realize that was only 400 years ago. I mean, again, that's 100 years from now, which is weird. But, uh, yeah, 400 years ago and 2552. Yeah, I thought that was... I thought that guy disgraced himself in the founding of the Covenant. He's like, no, we should not ally with the Prophets. And that's why they turned it into a position of, uh, shame. I'm not terribly familiar with that story. Although the comment did absolutely nail the guy's name, so, you know. Interesting. Hell yes. Sup? Oh, drop pods. Well, I did just get a checkpoint, I think. Maybe I'll walk. Hey, maybe not. <laughs> That's right, you can move it before the uh, guy get, even gets inside. Oh, I see, those are meant... Hmm. Alright, it doesn't really matter, I'm calling it here anyway. After some very interesting information there. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. What's oh, animal noise? Did I call it, or did I call it, by the way? <laughs> yes, I'll see you next time when we continue forward and make the brutes pay for everything they have done, and everything they might have done. Till then. Later.